What up, nerds? It's uh, Jason here from Custom Cats, and just a very, very quick one. Uh, just going to go through the ear pad adapter rings for the Sundial Closed. We did another video about designing these and how we design them. Uh, we've now got these for sale on the shop. A few people have asked for them, so I thought I'd better do a video just to show you how you would fit them, uh, put them together, that kind of thing, so they need a little bit of assembly at home. But yeah, it's only going to take a couple of minutes. Also, oh, i got a new phone today. Should we do the sticky peely thing? Let's do. Ooh, oh, so nice. Yeah, so it's another Unihertz Titan. I had one before. It was a real. I, I just do emails all day. You know, I run a small business. All my stuff is just emailing all day. And I used to roll on a BlackBerry Passport, which was badass. And then this is kind of a clone of that. And my other one I killed the other day, uh, which is pretty, you know, it was, it was, I got it when it was launched, so it was three, three or four years old, and it still got a few days out of the battery, which was pretty impressive. And yeah, I couldn't find another phone that I liked as much because I tend to, you know, I, I do a lot of work. These get dust in them, they get paint in them, that kind of thing. I can just kind of wipe it off because it's a ruggedized phone and it's all good to go. But I, I did manage to kill the other one, I, I would admit it. I think it got some schmoo in behind the H key, so the H key didn't work quite as well anymore. That's what went wrong on that one, but it lasts a few years. And uh, when these are new, like I've just got this new, and I've totally forgotten, you get five, six days out of the battery. It's pretty, pretty incredible. Anyway, enough about my new phone. <laughs> so yes, if you want a ruggedized phone with a keyboard, Unihertz Titan, it is a fabulous phone. Uh, I mean, no way sponsored by Unihertz, but they, I, I, I appreciate the fact that they're still making phones for me, for the email warriors that need a physical keyboard. I don't know whether it's because I'm super dyslexic or what, but I just find the, the physical clicking of a key, knowing that it's been pressed, a little bit more reassuring than the... And the haptics, ooh, they make me all itchy in the hands. I don't like it when they... the haptic response from the, the keys. But anyway, I like a keyboard. Unihertz doing it. W well done to them. Well done to them. Enough about that. <laughs> just exciting new phone day. If you have a set of Sundara closed, they have pads which hook in thusly. And what we've done is we've made these little rings with the same hooks on that you can fit 100 mil pads. So something like a bear dynamic pad, or you know, if you go on AliExpress, there's loads of sheepskin and stuff. You Dakoni, they all make you know, anything that will 100 mil, anything that will fit a, a bear dynamic will fit on these rings. You just pop it on like that, like you would on a normal one. And then they should click into place. He says. Obviously these are 3D printed, so go, go easy on them. Um, but yeah, so that's all clicked in, and now you've got a 100mm pad firmly secured to your Sundaras, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. So you can try pad rolling on those. I haven't actually played around with that. At all, I reckon um, there could definitely be some some pads that would make them possibly bring out that make them sound a little bit a little bit better. They've already they've already got just like tons of bass, so you could probably do with a velour pad. I, I'm gonna have a listen afterwards anyway. Have a have a bit of a play with a few different pads, but that's not what this video is about. Sorry, I'm just rambling today. <laughs> so, if you did buy one of these or download the 3D printed files, you would get two of those rings and you get 12 of these little hooks and these have been designed so that they self-locate so what you'd have to do it oh yeah so here's your ring here's your hooks so it's very very small um but you'd have to apply a little bit of glue to the chamfered edges the 45 degree edges on these and then just push them through making sure the hooks are the right way around and what i'll do is yeah use some super glue or something like that pop all those in and then I'd leave it overnight because when I was filming this video, I left it for about half an hour and then they all broke off. So I'd leave it overnight so they're fully dried in there. And you're away. So yeah, it's a pretty simple thing. So if you buy them off us, we're selling them, I think, for a tenner for a set. We'll 3D print them for you, post them out. Or £2 for the 3D printer files. I'll stick links in the description. You can print them out yourself. So there we go. Just a quick one. Uh, obviously, it'd be great if you liked and subscribed. We've got stuff. I'm trying to bring out a new product headphone product every month at the moment just to just keep keep stuff going and uh, yes yeah, so if you've got any good ideas like this this came from the community someone said can you m make this thing um yes yes we can make that thing so if there's anything that you need uh headphone accessory wise which does not yet exist possibly you could speak to uh to this guy 
and I can design it for you. But anyway, uh, it's great hanging out. I'll see you guys. It's a genuine pleasure to hang out with you guys. Honestly. That's, uh, as you can see, it's like sunrise here in Cheltenham. And uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's no one else around. It's just you. It's just you guys and me. We're just hanging out, chilling out. It's just waffling early in the morning. Anyway, uh, see you guys again. Just, uh, just hit like or subscribe down there, which helps support us and spread the word. Spread the word of headphones. <laughs> the Lord of headphones, he's a merciful Lord. <laughs>